my broadcasting career, I've called a match with Switzerland and Colombia going toe to toe for a bronze medal. 100%. Colombia's out first with Carlos Izquierdo. He has been wrestling in these world championships since the age of 18. He represented Colombia in the Olympics in 2016. He is looking for his first world medal tonight. Speaking of first world medals, Switzerland has a chance to join a list of countries that have celebrated milestones this week. Stefan Reichmuth, a chance to become Switzerland's first ever freestyle medalist in the next six minutes. I, you know, as, as I look at our credentials, they made us neutral. They made us Swiss on our credentials. Uh, but, I, but I tell you what, Reichmuth has had an amazing run through this tournament. He's beaten some world medalists and some world place winners to get here. Uh, Izquierdo of Colombia, his coaches were so excited in that repechage match. They were throwing their hands up. And, you know, these two athletes qualifying their teams for the Olympic Games. Just a huge opportunity. I almost feel like I'm a part of that Swiss contingency. That's Everybody right. kept congratulating me yesterday when I was in the elevator. Hey, way to go, Congratulations. <laughs> Great story, though. Stefan Reichmuth, he's 25 years old, wrestling for the Swiss Wrestling Wind Force League. And now here he is, a chance to get the bronze. Boy, you see some of that string from East Caridou. That contact, he's a good looking athlete, a little bit taller than Reichmuth. This 86 kilo division. A weight class that does not have the returning champion back. David Taylor injured his knee, so he missed this year's world championships. Did not get a chance to defend it. Watching Colombia this week, I would use the word explosive. And just as I say that, look at Reichmuth like a bulldozer come right in at Colombia. And he will get the first points of the match. So interestingly enough, in this weight class, an Olympic weight class, we have three countries who have never had a medalist. So we have San Marino, Colombia, and Switzerland. So. Usually you see your hammers coming out for an Olympic weight class to qualify, and we're kind of having people come out of nowhere. Ischiardo was a bronze medalist in the Pan Am Games, not even getting to the next level. So again, sometimes it's the draw, sometimes it's having a great week and have, picking the best week to have your best week. And this is that week. Mentioned Sam Marino, we'll be watching Miles Amin coming up in the other bronze medal match right after this one. Reichmuth behind the one step out point with the one nothing advantage for Switzerland. Jim Switzerland wrestle the 2021 World Championships. Brian will be heading to Norway. Excited for that opportunity. I'm excited. It's a part of the world I've never been to. Oslo is apparently there's so much history in Oslo, and there's uh, it's one of these countries that, that has a lot going for it. And uh, you know, Scandinavia, I'm looking really forward to getting there. My flight took me through Helsinki to get here and had a chance to go explore Helsinki, a beautiful city in that neck of the woods. And there's Colombia coming right back with the point, or excuse me, uh, Switzerland. So a 2 nothing lead for Switzerland here in this first period. Now, Reichmuth is, uh, man, he is attacking, and he's the one who's putting uh, the pressure on his Chiaro here. He's using his hands hard, pulling on that head, and moving position. He's, he's, again, picking the right day, the right weekend to have the best weekend. European games. Reichmuth placed 10th yeah. in the European Championships. He finished 15th. All of his previous results did not indicate or show what type of run he would put together this week. And he goes into the 
Second period, a little Swiss greeting, a 2-0 lead over Columbia as the two go into their respective corners. Two bronze medal matches at 86. We have heard rumors, unfortunately, that there might not be a gold medal match due to an injury sustained by India. Deepak Punia, a question mark whether he'll be able to go tonight against Iran's Hassan Yazdani Charadi. So that would be too bad if that is true. We will wait and see, but all indications are that Deepak is injured and will not be able to go tonight. I saw Punia in the back room uh, before the finals, and he didn't look like he was in, in, in tip top shape. And you're going to need to be in tip top shape if you want to face Yazdani Charadi because he. Uh, is, is pretty awesome to watch, and he's been buzzing through everybody in this tournament. Do we know what type of injury with India on that? I, I actually do not, but I can tell you, uh, like a lot of wrestlers, he had two swollen eyes. He was had a limp going. <laughs> he did not look to be 100%. He didn't look to be 80%. He was able to gut out his semifinal win last night. Here comes Switzerland, and for the third time, driving forward. And Rikmuth has been the dictator so far in this bout. He's the one controlling. He's up 3-0. Hasn't got the big move yet, but he's slowly adding them up and has built a nice lead. And looking back at that Deepak Punia, uh, he, a month ago, won a junior world title. So. He, you know, he's just coming to this tournament. He qualified the weight for his country, and now he's uh, he might be just saying, my body just cannot do it. He's going to go home, rest, and heal up and get ready. And that that's kind of the, the twist of fates, if you will. After you have guaranteed that Olympic spot with the Olympics coming up next year, you don't want to re-aggravate or make an injury worse and cut into your recovery time, and that could be training time for the Olympics and the trials that a lot of these countries will be hosting over the next four to five months. So there's a lot in that process and probably safe to err on the side of caution sometimes. Reichmuth continues to pitch the shutout here. A three nothing lead for Switzerland looking for their first men's freestyle medal. But because Reichmuth had three step out points, one big move by Ischiardo, and he's done it here in this tournament. Yes, he has. Can change it in a real big hurry. Or a takedown transition right into a turn that changes the, the whole uh, complexion of the match. Reichmuth had the opportunity uh, to get some takedowns and just settled for the step out. Un minuto, hay que hacerlo. Un minuto, lo último, el último minuto, Carlos. Reichmuth is so good with his hands. He has wrist control, he's had that wrist. Just keeping the Colombian off balance, not allowing him to get where he wants to. Here he allows that collar tie. But again, he just has those strong arms, the strong forearms. Snap down attempt by Izquierdo. Reichmuth able to get his balance. Strong core position from the powerful Swiss wrestler. Izquierdo digging that left side underhook. Look for him to throw it by or even come with a hard snap down. Maybe look for a front headlock here. He needs to get on his horse here, and he needs to go for an attack because at three to zero, he might as well go 10 to zero. If you're not making attempts to score, you're not gonna win. Rick Muth taking a quick glance over at the clock in the corner. He sees it winding down to 23. Running out of time is East Kierdu. And just not getting into the setups he wants. Good counter there by Switzerland. Rikmuth into a time-eating position. He'll put all that pressure on the upper half, that upper back, and drive the Colombian down. Eats up a good 10 seconds off the match clock. And Rikmuth with really strong hips, not allowing Ischiardo into his hips. Very impressive defense by the Swiss. And that is what is going to earn him the bronze medal. A 3 nothing shutout history tonight in Nur Sultan. Switzerland with the program of the country's first world medal showing. A bronze medal here at the World Championships. Congratulations. Wow, and the coach walking out there, you know, that can mean a lot for him to get to the next level by having a medal on his resume. Amazing. Good for Switzerland. Stefan Rikmuth, a name.